What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're gonna be doing a fifty million dollar buy-in and they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games today. We got a thousand of them. Well actually fifteen hundred of them because they gave us an extra five hundred quarters since I did that fifty million dollar buy-in. So anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a brand new world record win. Oh my goodness, nice. We got that quarter pyramid to go right off the bat. That is absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, they got this thing loaded up fantastically well today. Looks like a gigantic tower of uh, $10,000 chips back there on the pusher. There's an enormous wall of $5,000 chips and quarters in there. They got two quarter towers up front. Was a quarter pyramid up front, but we already got that to go. And there's a whole bunch of gold towers in there, five and ten and one thousand dollar chip towers. They got all kinds of dice in there, white dice and gold dice. The white dice we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. And the gold dice we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by those numbers. And there's quite a few mystery bags in there today also. There's a brown mystery bag on the right blue shelf, a pink mystery bag on the left blue shelf. Oh my goodness, nice, that great big old wall is crashing down. Nice, and we got the majority of that quarter tower on the left. Oh my goodness, this is doing exceptional so far. There's also a red mystery bag right there in the center. I think y'all can see it. Oh yeah, it's raining $5,000 chips. Let's get that loot chute emptied out. All right, there we go. We got that loot chute cleared out. Sometimes if that loot chute gets too full, money will fall inside the machine and it would go to the house. I wouldn't get a winner keeping with that money. It would go to the exact same place as those gutters on the sides would. Y'all probably can't see the gutters at the moment because that great big old wall of $5,000 chips is blocking the view. But anyhow, that money would go to the house also. So it's best to keep that loose chute cleared out at all times. Come on, nice push. Well, I tell you what, that great big old tower of $10,000 chips back there, it's hanging about halfway over the pusher. And check that out, there's a white dice making its way toward the edge, right there in the center of the play field. Yeah, this is going excellent so far. A lot better than I thought it would go. Yeah, I thought with that great big old wall of $5,000 chips, it'd be extremely difficult to win at this game right here, but um, I guess I was wrong. So anyhow, let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using that skill stop button. Yeah, this technique right here is really, really beneficial. Yeah, a bunch of you all commented and said to use that skill stop technique about a month or so ago. And ever since then, I've been using it pretty much every single game i played. And it's really, really proven to help get the towers crashed down. It speeds up the process. Especially trying to get these towers on the corners, like these two towers right here. Stacking up the quarters really, really helps those towers go. Nice, this is doing amazing. We got a whole bunch of $5,000 chips. We got that white dice. Oh my goodness, wow! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all them $10,000 chips. Wow, we're going to be rich tonight, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, this is doing phenomenal. Wow, look at all them $10,000 chips we're winning. Yeah, I'd say that tower right there was probably a 5 or 6 or $7 million tower. And check that out, there's a dark pink mystery bag hidden in there. I think we done got the red mystery bag. And that's a dark pink mystery bag. That is absolutely exceptional right there. Nice, we got it to go, sweet. So we got quite a few quarters left in the basket, so let's go ahead and use that skill stop. Just put the remaining quarters in there. Yeah, them two $5,000 chip towers on the left and the right hand side on the corners, those are moving forward pretty well. Yeah, the only way we're gonna get those anytime soon is if we use that skill stop. All right, we only got a couple quarters left, let's get them in there. All right, well that right there was the last of them. Let's see what it does. Come on, humongous push. Oh yeah. Nice, that wall on the right hand side crashed down. Sweet. Check that out, there's a white dice hidden underneath of it. Wow. 
So anyhow, let's go see how much money we've won and retrieve the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up both of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should we start with? I think we should start with the red mystery bag first. This one feels like it's loaded up really, really good. So let's see. Hopefully there's something nice and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got four of the gold dice. Like I said, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold bars will multiply by those numbers. So now let's go ahead and move on to this dark pink mystery bag. This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well also. So let's see, what do we get? Nice, check this out. We got the $5 chip, three $1 chips, and the $10 chip. So this $5 chip, we get to cash this in. They will take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and put them into the play field somewhere. And each one of these $1 chips is worth 500 free quarters. They get to cash all three of these in. They'll give me an extra 1,500 quarters. And uh, this $10 chip right here, this right here is worth one free tower. They'll let me spin a wheel, and whatever that wheel lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. And that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Both of those mystery bags was loaded up in incredibly well so anyway let's get right back to pushing nice we just got another white dice right there so that makes two of the white dice that we've won in total now so it's doing phenomenal so far and also we made a tremendous amount of money on that previous round I think we made a little over 9.2 million in chips it was something around that maybe a little bit more actually I think I remember it was like 9.2 million or something and we got quite a few one ounce gold bars also. So let's keep on stacking this thing up. Let's use that skill stop technique. And also we got a bunch of quarters now. I think we got a couple thousand of those. Plus we're guaranteed an extra 1500 quarters whenever I cash in all three of those $1 chips. So more than likely we'll have enough quarters to get the whole entire machine cleared out today. So anyhow, let's see what that does. Oh my goodness, did you see that push right there? Oh my goodness, check that out, that wall on the left side, it's going. Nice, all those quarters fell down. Oh yeah, all those $5,000 chips are falling down also. Nice, there it goes. So now let's try to get these two enormous towers. I'll probably try like two more rounds after this one, and if we don't get the play field cleared out, we'll go ahead and cash in the $10 chip and the $1 chips. Yeah, normally I'll cash in the $10 chip first and the $1 chips if we won those. Then, after we win all that stuff out of there, I'll cash in the $5 chip. And after we win all that stuff out of there, I will cash in the $50 chip. But speaking of the $50 chip, I have not won that today, so... I mean, it could be hidden inside one of those other mystery bags. There's two more mystery bags in there. There's a brown one on the right blue shelf and a pink one on the left blue shelf. So pretty much if you don't know what that $50 chip is for, I get to cash it in. They would take everything that we've been losing to them gutters on the left and the right hand side and they would put it back into the play field. They'd take everything that's down in that loot box, put it back into the game and give us a second chance at winning it. Like I said, we haven't won that $50 chip today, which is a little bit concerning. I mean, it should still be a pretty decent game, but I mean, $50 million buy-in gonna have to win as many dice and towers as possible to make that back it's a lot of money on the line today yeah but I'll do these big buy-ins for you all I know y'all enjoy them I know y'all like to see the 50 million dollar buy-ins and stuff a lot better than the hundred thousand dollar buy-ins or something so try to make as many big buy-in videos as I can Oh my goodness, that was an avalanche right there. That was an outstanding avalanche to be exact. My goodness, we got that enormous tower of $5,000 chips on the right corner. I think that one had a gold dice on top of it. 99% sure it did. So now let's try to push more to the left-hand side because that tower's still standing. And look at all them $5,000 chips right there. That's a boatload of money. Yeah, and I'd say them $5,000 chips on the right side will fall out of there regardless. It doesn't really matter which side we play on. So yeah, hopefully that uh, $50 chip is hidden inside one of those uh, other mystery bags they got in there. That yeah, would be nice, because... See how we're about to lose five grand to the gutter on the right side? Yep, I think that's... Yeah, there it goes. So without that $50 chip, 
that is gone forever. Wouldn't get that back on this game right here. So let's hope that uh, $50 chip is hidden inside one of them mystery bags. Anyhow, we could really, really use a nice profit off of this game right here. I played three other games before this one today. And goodness gracious, talk about losing games. Well, I think I did win on the first game I played, actually. I think we profited like 19 million or something. So that was a pretty good start to the day. But that second and third game that I played, goodness gracious. I mean, it's pretty embarrassing to admit this, but we're down close to $280 million at the moment. Yes, you heard me right. $280 million. So pretty much if you're wondering what happened, that second game that I played, like I said, the first game was a winning game. Profited like $19 million. That second game, it was a one-quarter challenge, and it was, it was a complete disaster. I'll talk more about it after we collect the quarters. So let's collect the quarters, and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, AMB Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. Yeah, it was raining quarters the whole time I was down there uh, separating the chips and stuff. Yeah, I was down there separating the chips for about, let's see, five, ten minutes or so. I mean, it takes a pretty good while to separate all those chips and stuff. I think on the first round, after that great big old tower fell down, I was down there for about... 20, 25, 30 minutes, something around that down there, like separating the chips and stuff, so yeah, that adds on to the time it takes to make these videos, so anyhow, getting back to talking about what I was saying a few seconds ago, that second game that I played today, it was a one quarter challenge, and the original buy-in started off at like five million, I think, five million dollars a quarter, and I bought in probably about like 10, 15, 20 times or something. And uh, I still couldn't get it to go, and I just decided to go ahead and call it quits. Can't remember exactly how much money I was down on that game, but it was a lot. Like I said, in total, we're down 280 million today. Maybe a couple hundred thousand over that, but still, it's a tremendous amount of money to lose. And that third game I played, it was a 50 quarter challenge with a 30 million dollar buy-in and. That game was a total disaster also. Put all 50 of them quarters in there. And I'm not kidding when I say this. I did not get one quarter back. And the sad part is there was a whole bunch of quarters on the edge lined up ready to go. And I decided, well, we're on a losing streak right now. And uh, I would just save money for a different game. I decided to play a different game. So I decided to play this one right here. Hopefully I made the right decision, and I'll normally talk my way through all the games that I play, and I'm keep in mind I'm here like 10, 12 hours out of the day, sometimes 14. I think the longest I've ever been here at one time is like 15 hours, because I mean, you have to take breaks, eat and stuff, and then sleep. Yeah, it's not like I can stay here 24 hours or nothing. I stay here as long as I can, trying to find the best video that you all would enjoy if that makes any sense and I post the best video of the day like the one with the biggest win the one with the biggest towers all that stuff so yeah I'm here a pretty good while but yeah we're down 280 million dollars today I need to at least make that much money back on this game right here to break even for the day it should be possible I think we have the potential to make a billion dollars or more, I'd say. We just got to win all them white dice out of there. Let's see, how many more white dice is in there? I'm seeing six of them, so we're guaranteed at least six more white dice if we don't lose them to the gutters or something. And uh, there's two more mystery bags on the blue shelf. Those could be loaded up with dice also. You never know. So anyhow, let's keep on stacking up that left-hand side. That tower is super, super close to going. It's like hanging probably about 30% of the way over the edge, so it's about ready to fall straight into the payout chute. Let's just load up this left-hand side. All right, well, let's see what that does. Goodness gracious, I almost put a $10,000 chip back in there. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Well, I thought it was anyway. Let's see what that second wave does. Oh my goodness, it's super, super close. That tower's about to go. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a nice base of quarters built up behind that tower. 
that'll really, really help it move forward. Like I said, it speeds up the process winning these towers, stacking up the quarters like this. So while you're at it, take a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think we're going to make back today from a $50 million buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend on one of these, but like I said earlier, I do this for you all. I know the majority of you all like to see the big buy-in videos. So i uh, try to make as many as I can. All right, well, we only got a couple quarters left. Now, that tower is super, super close, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $10 tip and the $1 tips. And that right there was the last of the quarter. So let's see what it does. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Oh, my goodness, that is so close. Look at that tower. Imagine that second wave got it. Well, we might get a third wave. Oh, yeah, yes, we did. We got a third wave. Well, it was pretty close. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $10 chip. And all three of those $1 chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Quinbush, your has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip, and all three of those $1 chips. They gave me an extra 1,500 quarters, and we got to spin that wheel. And today it landed on $5,000 chips. As you can see, they built like two of the world's tallest towers of $5,000 chips in there. Normally they'll build like one enormous one back there on the pusher or something and they'll build like several smaller towers But today they just built like two Massive towers of chips in there. They're very very tall. So Something a little bit different ain't it? Hopefully it works out. Okay And that tower that was uh, being a little bit stubborn on that left hand side. It's still on there It's about ready to go actually come on humongous push all right, well, let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using that skill stop button. Let's try to put at least 800 quarters in there at once and see what happens. I feel like that's definitely going to move these enormous towers to $5,000 chips. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's keep on stacking this thing up. And there's so many towers on the blue shelves today. I'd say there's at least like 130, 140 ounces of gold on the blue shelves. There's a whole bunch of gold. There's actually multiple ways I could win all those towers. The first way, I could stack the quarters up really, really high back there on the pusher, kind of like I'm doing right now. And for example, say one of the $1,000 chip towers or gold towers was hanging over that blue shelf just a tiny bit. If I stacked the quarters up really, really high, I would have a good chance of trick shotting that uh, tower into the play field. But as you can see, none of the towers are hanging over there today, so that first method wouldn't work out. But the second way I could win all those towers is if there's a $5 chip or a red earbud hidden in there. And today we got that $5 chip, so I'll get to cash that in. They'll move all them towers to the play field for free. And if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there, then it would cost me two times the original buy-in to get them to move them towers to the play field. So today that would be $100 million. That would end up being a $150 million buy-in in total. All right, so this is a lot more than 800 quarters. I'm going to say this is like at least 13, 1400 quarters. So let's see what happens. Come on, humongous push. Give me something. Well, they're getting stuck back there, but they'll fall out of there eventually. Oh, yeah, they're breaking free on the left side and in the center. Come on, big push. Give me something. Yeah, I feel like these towers might give us a major uphill battle. But we're doing a good thing, stacking up the quarters like this. It's really, really going to speed up the process. Nice, we got that tower on the left. That one had a gold dice on top of it. Sweet. This is doing amazing today. Nice, that big old tower fell backwards. We lost quite a few of the $5,000 chips to the blue shelf. But that's all right. We'll get that back later on whenever I cash in that $5 chip. So well, That's not bad, not bad at all. So that's like... One less tower we have to worry about winning. Yeah, all them $5,000 chips and that small tower right there should fall out of there within the next couple of seconds. Won't take much to get those, I don't think. So now I think we need to stack up the quarters on the right side and just focus on the right side only. So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember if this is your first time watching the channel and you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. 
that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. It help out tremendously. We're on the road to 140,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of this month, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video right here. 10,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need all y'all watching to hit that like button. Tell you what, if this video can get 10,000 likes in the first day of it being uploaded to YouTube, tomorrow I will do a half a billion dollar buy-in. How does that sound? But the only catch to it, this video has to get 10,000 likes within the first 24 hours of it being uploaded to YouTube. That's the only catch to it. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's go see what we've won real quick and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's keep on stacking up that right hand side. Try to get that enormous tower of $5,000 chips to crash down. I'll probably try like one more round after this one right here and if we don't get it i'll probably go ahead and cash in that uh five dollar chip so stay tuned for that more exciting gameplay coming right up so anyway getting back to talking about what i was saying a couple minutes ago about hitting that like button and subscribing and stuff it is a hundred percent free to like comment share and subscribe i don't get paid any money when y'all hit that subscribe button or hit that like button I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future content. Because uh, once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. And if you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you will get notified on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever device you're watching my videos on you will get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much upload videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any phenomenal content. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell icon. That way you get notified for any future uploads. And like I said, I upload pretty much every single day, seven days a week, so hit that like button and subscribe and turn on the post bell notifications. Well, we just about got that left side all cleared out. I wish that tower on the right side would get moving. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know if there's any point in wasting a lot of time trying to get that tower because they would leave that tower in there whenever I cash in that $5 chip. They would just add all those extra towers to the play field. That honestly might be pretty beneficial. You want to know why? because if there's like weight in all the areas of the play field and stuff, it might help that tower on the right side move. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that uh, $5 chip and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coinbrusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field. Looks like they took most of the gold towers and just put them back there on the pusher. And that tower of $5,000 chips that was being pretty stubborn on that right hand side. I think the top half of that tower fell backwards or something. Oh my goodness. Nice. Well, we got both of those mystery bags. That pink mystery bag was on the left. The brown one was on the right. Yeah, this is doing pretty good so far. Whole bunch of towers on the edge. Whole bunch of $1,000 chip towers. $5,000 chip towers. And $10,000 chip towers. All that gold is about to fall off the pusher back there. Check that out. Nice. There we go. We got two more gold towers to go. So let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters. Yeah, I'm really, really going to try to get that $5,000 chip tower on the right hand side to go. Yeah, I'm determined to get that. Oh my goodness. Nice. Two more towers fell. Oh yeah, them gold towers back there are about to go. Nice. We got a dice. Couple more gold bars. Tons of $5,000 chips. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was a humongous push right there. Let's get that loot chute cleared out. All right, there we go. We got that loot chute cleared out. Goodness gracious, it's random one ounce gold bars. $5,000 chips. This tower's going. Oh yeah, that was a spectacular push. Let's see what this does. Come on. Nice, there went a half a million tower right there or so. Might have been more than half a million. Maybe like six, seven, eight hundred thousand. Yeah, 
This is doing exceptional today. Now it looks like that tower on the right side is still being a little bit stubborn, so let's keep on stacking up the quarters really, really high back there on that right hand side. Try to get a large base of quarters built up behind that tower. It's definitely our best bet. Yeah, we've won tons of gold bars so far. The gold bars are worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like $1,930 an ounce. Well, that's what the spot price of gold was worth yesterday anyhow. If uh, somebody could let me know what a one ounce gold bar is worth down in the comments section, I would highly appreciate that. Just uh, leave me a comment, let me know what a one ounce gold bar is worth. And we just about got all the gold out of there. Nice, that was a whole bunch of gold we just got. Yeah, I can't keep up with everything that's going on. There's towers falling down left and right. Gold bars falling out of there. Quarters flying everywhere. That's yeah, been an outstanding game today. Definitely been the best game i played all day. And keep in mind, I know it looks like I'm winning a lot of money. But keep in mind we got to make $280 million in profit off of this game right here to break even for the day. So we're down a tremendous amount of money at the moment. I mean, if you think about it, it was like a $330 million buy-in. We need to make $280 million profit plus the $50 million buy-in. So just pretend this is a $330 million buy-in. I think that's right. Yeah, 330 million. It's what we need to make back on this game right here to break even. Yeah, hopefully that tower of $5,000 chips crashes down here in a few minutes. Yeah, and I know there's not $50 million worth of chips in there to win. But keep in mind, there's a bunch of them white dice. And like I said, those multiplier winnings... So say I have won uh, $20 million at the end of the game and all those dice or all the white dice total up to 10 or something, 10 times $20 million in chips, that's $200 million right there. There was a whole bunch of white dice in there today. And plus two more mystery bags. I'll open up the mystery bags here in just a second. Alright, well we only got a couple quarters left. Let's get them in there. Right, that right there was the last of them. So let's go ahead and collect the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and check out both of these mystery bags right here. So let's see, which one should we start with? I think we should start with the pink one first. See if there's anything nice and valuable in there. It feels like it's loaded up pretty good. So let's see, what do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got three more white dice and two more gold dice. That is absolutely remarkable right there. So now let's go ahead and move on to the brown mystery bag. This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well. Might be an earbud or something in there. And keep in mind, this right here is your last chance of getting that $50 chip. So hopefully it's in there. We'll see. Well, if I can get it open. All right, there we go. We got it. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow. Check this out. We got that $50 chip and the dark blue earbuds so like i said we get to cash this in at the end of the game they'll take everything that's fallen down the gutters and they'll put it back into the play field but this dark blue earbud right here this gets us a cash only bonus game i get to cash this in they will load the whole entire machine up with cash so that is absolutely phenomenal i was not expecting to win that today so anyhow let's try one more round and try to get that tower of five thousand dollar chips and if i can't get it i'll probably go ahead and cash in that dark blue earbud have them put all that cash in there so yeah we got saved by that last mystery bag yeah i thought for sure we wasn't gonna get that 50 dollars chip today yeah here lately they've been like separating the special chips and stuff like sometimes the five dollar chip will be in one mystery bag then the other mystery bag will have the ten dollar chip then the other mystery bag will have the fifty dollar chip yeah, most of the time they would like put all the chips together, like they'd put the $1 chips, the $50 chip, and the $10 chip, and the $5 chip together, but here lately they've been scattering them out a little bit. I mean, that's alright with me as long as we win them. So anyhow, let's keep on stacking up this right hand side, try to get that tower of $5,000 chips. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit before that tower falls down. 
Yeah, it's not really moving too good at the moment. So let's go ahead and finish out this bowl of quarters. And if we don't get it, I will go ahead and cash in that dark blue earbud. So stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. Come on, big money, give me something. Yeah, we're getting tons of quarters back, that's for sure. And if you're wondering why the towers on the sides have such a hard time falling down at times, it's because if there's any weight or pressure build up on the sides or the corners, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route or the easiest path of travel. And that would either be around the towers or it would be down those gutters on the sides. Which, as you can see, once the quarters push forward, Especially over there on that right hand side, the quarters are just going down that gutter. It's because of that great big old tower. It's uh, pretty heavy. I'd say it's, I don't know how much it weighs. But you get the point, if there's any weight on the sides, the quarters are just going to take the easiest path of travel. So That's why it's pretty difficult to get the towers on the sides to fall down. But, uh, here and there, them towers on the sides will fall down like almost instantly. I guess it's all about how the quarters are lined up. It's the only thing that makes sense. So, And like I said, stacking up the quarters really, really high back there really, really helps the towers on the sides move. So, Anyhow, we got a couple quarters left. Alright, that right there was the last of them. Let's see what it does. Come on, huge push. Give me something. Alright, so let's go ahead and cash in that dark blue earbud, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that dark blue earbud. They loaded the whole entire machine up with cash. I'd say there's every bit of like two or $3,000 in cash in there today. And I know what you're thinking. This is not a lot of money considering the $50 million buy-in, but this is still an extremely fun game to play. And the majority of you all said you liked the cash-only bonus game down in the comments, so... Yeah, this is a pretty fun game to play, to be honest with you. Yeah, for a while there, they didn't put any cash in there. I think last time I seen cash in there was probably about like 8, 9, 10 months ago, maybe even a year ago. I mean, every now and then they'd have the stacks of $100 bills, $10,000 in each stack, but you rarely see that anymore. But here recently, a couple weeks ago, they started adding the dark blue earbud, and that gets us the cash-only bonus game. Oh yeah, that was a huge push right there. So it looks like we got the cash off of the pusher now. There's no more cash back there. Everything's done pushed down to the lower shelf. So let's get all that out of there. Then I will cash in that $50 chip, and they'll take everything that we've lost to them uh, side slots, and they'll put it back into the play field, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully that loot box is loaded up fantastically well. Yeah, this has been a miraculous game today so far. Made tons of money, tons of gold, tons of quarters. We're still down an insane amount of money, though, so... I think we're going to need to win as much money and dice as possible. We're going to make that $280 million back. Like I said, we need to at least make $330 million on this game right here. Because we was previously down $280 million, And I'm down $50 million right now because that's what the buy-in was today. Oh my goodness. Well, we just about got all that cash out of there push on that left hand side for a few more minutes try to get that stack of $20 bills and that uh, $20 bill by itself if I can't get it within the next like two or three minutes probably go ahead and cash in that $50 chip yeah the other day I remember I was playing a cash only bonus game like this and they had cash on the blue shelves also yeah I think it was a video I posted a couple weeks ago y'all may have already seen that and I think they put a red earbud in that cash only bonus game and I got to cash it in. And they put even more cash in the play field. But unfortunately today there was no more cash on the blue shelves. I mean, but like I said, it should still be a pretty nice game. As long as we can make our money back and it entertains you all, I guess that's all that matters. 
Yeah, I think that stack of 20s or roll of $20 bills is stuck in the gutter there. You see it? I don't think that's going to move. Not on this round anyway. They'll probably have to put it in a different location. Anyhow, let's get that $20 bill out of there. Then I will cash in the $50 chip. Come on. Nice push. Oh my goodness. It's super, super close to the edge. Let's see if that does it. Yeah, it's hanging about more than halfway over. About 65% of the way over now. Nice, we got it. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $50 chip real quick. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that had fallen down in their loot box. And they put it all back into the play field. My goodness, this is... An insane setup right here. Looks like they just put a whole bunch of chips and stuff all over the play field. There's all kinds of $10 chips, $500 chips, $25 chips, $1,000 chips, $100 chips, you name it. They got everything in there on this round right here. Gold bars, cash, everything. And check that out. There's two bounty chips in there, so somebody else had lost those, the side slots. And on top of that, there's a sky blue mystery bag way back there. So, uh, hopefully we can get that here in just a second. Well, we'll need to win that $5 chip or red earbud. Because then they would move all that stuff that's on the blue shelves to the play field. Nice, that was a huge push on the left-hand side there. Yeah, this is doing phenomenal. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, $5 chip or red earbud is hidden underneath the other chips or something. Because if not, it would cost me a hundred grand to uh, have them move all that stuff that's on the blue shelves to the play field. So hopefully that $5 chip is hidden in there somewhere. I'll be keeping an eye out for it. I will uh, separate all the chips and stuff here in just a second. I'll try to find that $5 chip. Now that red earbud, I'm sure we'd have done seen that fall out of there. That red earbud is huge. Oh yeah, that was a fantastic push right there. Oh yeah, that was a good push also. We just about got it all cleared out of there. And there's still quite a bit left in there to win. And also that $5,000 chip tower that was on the right hand side, I guess they just took that down and they put all those $5,000 chips in the play field. So, it's fine with me. At least we don't have to worry about winning that tower now, right? Oh, it's got a $100 bill right there. Gold bar about ready to go on the left. Two gold bars getting pretty close to the edge. Right, so we're almost out of quarters. That right there was the last of them, so let's go see what we've won real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back, so check this out. It turns out there was a $5 chip hidden in there, so I think now would be a pretty good time to go ahead and cash this in, have them move all those chips and stuff that's on the blue shelves to the play field. So I'm a little bit surprised they did not put the $5 chip in that blue mystery bag right there. I mean, yeah, normally they would put the $5 chip in the mystery bag, but it is what it is. At least we got it. So I'm going to go ahead and cash this in, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all that stuff that was on the blue shelves, and they put it all into the play field. Looks like they combined all the chips and the gold into, like, one enormous tower back there on the pusher. As you can see, they put, like, that mystery bag on top of it, and those two bounty chips. So if you don't know what those bounty chips are for, each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose. And that's actually how I was able to bring a thousand of my own quarters on this game right here. I had two bounty chips saved up. I think I won them on a game that I played earlier today. So I decided to use those on this game right here. Nice, we got that tower to go. My goodness, look at all those chips in there. And check that out, there's different uh, kinds of $1,000 chips. Yeah, that's a $1,000 chip right there. And then, yeah, they got all different types of chips in there. So, pretty much somebody else had been playing this game earlier. Or maybe quite a few people. And they lost a bunch of stuff to the side slots. And they did not win that $50 chip. 
And that's why there's all this stuff in my game. Because basically what it all boils down to is who last won that $50 chip. Because if the person that was playing here before me had won that $50 chip, then there wouldn't be any bonus money or gold or nothing like that down in the loot box. It would be the stuff I lost and the stuff that I lost only. There wouldn't be anything extra down in there. Oh yeah, that was a brilliant push right there. This game is going phenomenal today. Yeah, we just about got it all cleared out of there. A couple more pushes and we'll get it. Oh yeah, looks like a $5,000 chip, a $100 chip, and a $10 chip left. Uh, let's get that last $110 and we'll be ready to cash out. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely remarkable. This has been a marvelous game today. Absolutely marvelous. So let's go ahead and open up that sky blue mystery bag. All right, here it is. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Hopefully it's loaded up really, really nice. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got two more white dice, that is insane. Yeah, this very well could be a new record win today. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and call them back here. I think we've won 21 dice in total. We got 13 of the white dice and eight of the gold dice. They will put all 21 of them dice back there on the pusher. We gotta roll them on down to that lower shelf, whatever they land on. We get to multiply our winnings and their gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and B coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 21 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all land on some massive numbers. And if any of them dice lands on a one, it would be a zero. The ones do not count at all. Oh my goodness, those dice are landing on incredible numbers so far. Still got a bunch more dice to roll also. Yeah, a bunch of fives and sixes so far. Well, we got a couple ones, but that's all right. The majority of the dice are landing on pretty good numbers. All right, three more dice to roll. Let's roll them. Oh yeah, that's not bad, not bad at all. Majority of them dice landed on some pretty good numbers. So I'm gonna count everything up, multiply our winnings and our go by all that. And I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $50 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not gonna believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely insane. I ended up winning $14,683,495 in chips. And all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 57. And in total, I ended up winning $836,959,215 from a $50 million buy. And that is absolutely exceptional. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win today. Absolutely mind-blowing. I was not expecting a win like that today. That is amazing. And on top of that, we won 147 ounces of gold, and all them gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 27. And in total, I ended up winning 3,822 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like $1,930 at the moment, so that means we got an extra $7,376,000. $460 in gold today. That is absolutely phenomenal. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $50 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, that will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe, you can click that button up top there to subscribe. So anyhow, I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.